as I stood there, I thought about the first time that the lake by my house dried up completely. And I walked across the lake bed with my family on my side. And I saw things revealed by the drought. There were golf balls, sandals, fishing line, all sorts of toys. And I felt like I was in this dystopian, weird world where Walking across this lake bed, you could just see the years of memories revealed by this drought. And at that time, I didn't realize that that wasn't a fluke. It wasn't just in one instance, but that was the turning point. Um, and every year since then, it feels like the fires get closer and closer to home. My aunt's home burned down years ago, and Every year, my family is more scared, and I'm scared for my family and my friends and my loved ones um, that one that, that these fires are coming. Last time I was home, right now there are three fires burning. Last time I checked in California, and last time I was home, there were fires as well. I remember driving home with my dad, and I was read an article on the front page of the newspaper about a grandfather who went to go get some groceries and while he was away from his home, his wife and grandbabies were involved in flames. And before it reached them, they called him because he had only car and couldn't get out. And they called for help. And he listened as his family, his loved ones, waited for their death to come. And I think about that because that's what's happening to the people of California right now. They're waiting in their homes to die, or they're escaping by foot with their babies, or driving through streets that are engulfed in flames for their lives, running for their lives from these fires that are getting worse and worse, every year getting worse and more frequent. It's November. There should not be fires burning in Northern California right now. And if Pete Pelosi is from California, she should know. She should be thinking about these people, and I know that she does. Because you can't be from California and not hear this news and think about your families back. So I'm here today because I'm tired of fossil fuel billionaires buying out our politicians and for those politicians determining our future, for us to be thinking of our families all across this country, in hurricane states, in fire states, in drought states, tornado states, all of the disasters happening across this nation, sea level rise lack of clean drinking water, and those fossil fuel billionaires think that they can keep running our political system instead of us. No. When it's no. our lives on the line, our communities on the line, 